Stokers, it's Carrie from High Volume Oxygen. I am hooking up a flow meter today on one of the Bravos and the student stations at Lincoln Hot Glass. Um, occasionally we'll send out flow meters to folks to test uh, their usage on their torches in liters per minute is what this little guy tests for us. A little flow meter. It's got this ball that moves as the air comes in through the flow meter. So the way this guy works is this is the in right here so I need to hook this up to my oxygen line and then this is the out so I need to hook the other oxygen line here to go um, into the torch so uh, there's several places that you can set this up I have chosen this Y joint here on my Bravo so I can test the inner and outer flame uh, first and foremost make sure that you ch uh, shut off your oxygen um, you don't want the oxygen to be flowing and then I can take this apart and stick it together. So um, I don't know how exciting this is for y'all, but What else? Thanks for joining me if you do anyway um, Let me see adjust this here so you can actually follow along with what I'm doing All right other way. So here's my Y joint and I've got a 11 16 and a 5 8 wrench here and I don't want to take off the bottom one I want to take off the the middle connector here um, I think it's a female to female connector and that's good because I still need that all right and then I'm gonna connect my flow meter so in here important it is for you all to know how much oxygen you're using on a regular basis but for me it's really helpful because if I'm specking a system for you then knowing your usage really helps me to make sure that the system that I'm quoting you on is really going to handle your needs so for example if you end up using you know like 50 liters a minute all the time and you've got a system that's only providing 30 liters a minute um, you're not going to have enough oxygen for your constant usage but you know 50 liters a minute is pretty rare unless you've got like a mag that's full open all the time or maybe you've got a classroom of bravos or alphas six alphas you could probably get almost almost 50 liters a minute anyway so those fittings are now tight, but the flow meter is upside down, and that means the ball's down there, so I need to adjust this. So I'm gonna zip tie it here so that I can turn the torch on and actually run it and get readings. So how should I do? over here on the bench and see about tying this guy in place. Hopefully. So I just need it mostly upright. It just can't be laying sideways. And there's actually resistance on this flow meter. If I, um, if I tighten this down, I can actually prevent the oxygen from flowing to the torch. So before I do any testing, I want to make sure that I just open it all the way. Well, that's pretty decent. All right. So it's a little bit sideways, but it seems to be okay. So I'm just going to go and turn on the oxygen now. So we've been off. Turn it on. Hopefully I don't hear anything leaking over here now. Sounds good. All right. Well, let's see. I suppose we'll turn this on now. Thanks for your patience. 
I was unprepared. I will be back. Let's get this torch lit. Aw, thanks for hanging out and sticking around. Okay. That guy right there, 10 liters a minute. So, come down here and show you. Uh, maybe, where's the flow meter? Here it is. So it's kind of hard to see, but there you have it. Right at 10 liters a minute, and you're supposed to read the ball from the middle of the ball, so that is exactly 10 liters a minute. It's pretty typical for the alpha. Let's push it up and see what a top flame for this guy would be, huh? as if you needed to. Seven liters a minute is what that's reading. All right, let's kick the Bravo on. All right, really hard to see because I've got no filter on these guys. Sorry. But right there, we're reading, again, oh, I'd say 22 liters a minute. So the Bravo manufacturer specs say it can go through about 30 liters a minute. So let's see if we can find that one. baby. So, picked it up on the link and the Bravo. Uh, I don't know if I'd ever use this flame, but hey, you know. Sitting at about 40 liters a minute. So, I'd say that's probably about the highest you're going to get with this Bravo, and that's um, a pretty ridiculous flame. I have not used that flame. Not quite. Um, maybe some of y'all have better. Sorry, I'm not actually sticking glass in the flame at the moment, but that's how you hook up a flow meter. You can hook those flow meters up to 
uh, the source of oxygen. So, for instance, I guess, you know, I can show you my face while I'm talking at you, but who wants to see that? Um, go show you our, our HBO system back here in the shop. Uh, this down. Got a little Frankenstein drone going on, and we've got our, uh, pretty sure it's our oxygen purity max. Um, but anyway, you used to have a flow meter set up to this guy, and we actually set the flow meter up here, uh, past the regulator, I believe. So you could also hook it up, you know, uh, down here to come off of the regulator if you were trying to measure everything in the studio. Um, and you'd probably want a much larger flow meter, which we do have, actually. So we send out a couple of different flow meters occasionally. Um, to diagnose larger studio usage. So the Lincoln Hot Glass Studio, we've got Mark's working on some goblets over here, but we've got six rental stations over here. Oh, coffee cup, nice. So Mark's on the lathe uh, with a... Mirage? Elite. Got a Delta Elite, Delta Elite. and then the Herbie over here. So it's really rare that we've got all six of these going at once. I'd say most of the time, um, if it's a full night, we've got four renters in perhaps, or we've got six students in. So here's all of our, our uh, rental stations are over here, and then we've got the student station set up over here. We've got six torches on the student station, three Bravos, three Alphas. Um, So you can imagine if, if we've got six students over here, they're really only using the alphas. So that's six times seven-ish. So about 42 liters a minute. And you could easily cover that with, uh, you know, stick five oxygen concentrators in there and cover that indefinitely. But that's pretty rare that you actually need that for a class, unless it's a really extended class. But um, yeah, nobody's really got any questions as far as I can tell. And Haha, look, it's me. Um, anyway, if anybody has any questions, what up, Steven? Hey, Danny. Um, if you have any questions, I could certainly answer them for you. Feel free to um, chat with us. You can Instagram us. You can text me if you've got my number. You can email me. You can hit up our website for a contact form. You can uh, message us on Facebook, even, if you'd like. But, uh... That's it. Um, again, just hook up a flow meter. I'll try and do this with each of the torches that we've got going on here. Some of them are a little bit easier to set up than others, um, especially on the student station. Um, kind of don't like messing with um, people's torches while they're not around, so I just got to get some permission because, you know, where am I going to hook it up over here? Yeah. But anyway, um, thanks for joining me. And uh, we'll see ya again soon. See you real soon. Bye.